that Wall Street will go from 13,000 up to 15,000 thanks to the manipulation by the Saudis. Saudis have the money to do it. Oil prices will go down to 250 a gallon. I know you're taping this. This is going to be it. But everything to make President Obama look like the Messiah. And if indeed a war breaks out with Iraq and Obama goes to war against the Iranians and comes to the defense of Israel, I, I think they're going to paint him out as to be the, the Messiah, in quotes. And uh, Time Magazine will say, hey, we, so we said this four years ago, before he was uh, elected. And the Nobel Peace Prize people will say, hey, well, you know, we gave him the uh, Peace Prize, uh, Nobel Peace Prize, because we knew he was going to do these things. Uh, so it's like, I think that Obama's basically just a player and part of a bigger plan. We uh, look at Israel. I look at Israel. Of course, we love uh, Israel, and we, we believe in God's everlasting covenant with the people and with the land. And yet we... Um, you know, not only Iran, but we see uh, Hamas with their Katusha rockets and Hezbollah with their rockets. It just seems like uh, an overwhelming force against uh, the Israeli state. Uh, just tell us a little bit of, of some of the great things that I believe God has done in the past, bringing Israel to, uh, to safety and to victory despite overwhelming uh, odds. What are a few of the things in the past 1967 war, 1972 war, 1948 war that uh, just stick in our minds and, and can remind us once again that, hey, God is one of the key players in this whole picture. God is the key player. Amen. <laughs> and not only that, I don't play cards, but anyone who's listening to the show who plays cards knows that, you know, when you're not happy with the deck, you reshuffle the deck. And let me tell you, I'm not happy with the deck. And But we have a God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, uh, the God of the Jew, the God of the Christian. And it says seven times in the New Testament. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let's say the God of Ishmael, or the moon God, the war God, the sword God, Allah. It talks about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And this God is the greatest reshuffler of the deck. And one of the examples, obviously, you know, I know that you and all of your listeners have heard about the Six-Day War in 1967, all the miracles, uh, the miracles that took place in other wars as well. But I want, I want to talk about, uh, I know we have very little time towards the end of the program, but I want to talk a little bit about something that happened very recently. Uh, you know, uh, Obama becomes uh, the President of the United States in 2009. Hillary Clinton is Secretary of State. While they are slaughtering Christians in Nigeria and in Egypt and in Sudan and in Africa, throughout Africa, and they're slaughtering Christians in Pakistan and in other countries, uh, the United States State Department doesn't look at that, doesn't care about that. The United States State Department only cares about one thing, and that's attacking Israel, attacking the settlers, attacking Jerusalem and Palestinian State and all these crazy things. And uh, two years after this crazy administration comes into office, some Tunisian fruit vendor uh, self-immolates. He burns himself to death because uh, his cart has been confiscated. He was slapped in the face by a woman, a police woman there. And uh, within minutes, all of Tunisia was up in flames, and that spread overnight to Libya. And Gaddafi was overthrown and killed, and Mubarak was overthrown and jailed. Uh, civil war in Yemen, civil war in Syria, which has claimed already 20,000 people. And uh, I see the whole... Islamic Arab Middle East uh, disintegrating. God is reshuffling the deck. And, you know, I participated in war games, general staff level in the Israeli army in 1996, and at that time we saw Syria, which is a very dangerous threat to the existence of Israel. Today Syria is a shell. Syria is a shadow of it, what it was. Today Syria is disintegrating. And by projection, Lebanon is disintegrating. And well, we will be seeing, will be a war with Iran in which the Iranian people will, will be actually liberated by President Obama. If not by President Obama, it will be President Romney. And what we will see indeed is the overthrow of this crazy, crazy Shiite regime. It will re be replaced by a United Nations administration, I believe, a one world government. I believe uh, Iran will be divided up into Russians, Chinese, American, British, and other zones. Uh, the oil companies will take over the country. And people will say how wonderful Obama was for all of this, if, if indeed he makes the right decision and defends Israel and defends uh, the world from Iran. Iran's a crazy country. Nobody likes the Iranian leadership. Iranian people are great people, but they're slaves to a terrible system. Um, but what I'm thinking is, indeed, that we see this Arab Spring destroying the entire Arab world. Uh, I have news for you, uh, and I talk about this in my most recent book, the Return to Mecca book, and that is that the Arab Spring is going to come to Jordan and Saudi. And when the Al-Qaeda, who, by the way, are already in place in Saudi Arabia fighting the Saudi army, 
when the Al-Qaeda's hand begins to be uh, uh, on top of the uh, king, kill the king and the Saudi princess, because the Al-Qaeda, they're not Shiites, they're Sunnis, but they also want to kill everybody. Uh, then when they say, we're going to blow up all the oil wells to deny the Christian economy of the West the oil, then the one world government, I call it the harlot riding the dragon, is going to come and say, no way, Jose, you ain't going to blow up those oil wells. We're going to bring in the NATO forces, Russia, Israel. We're going to come in, we're, we're going to completely occupy Saudi Arabia. So this same Arab Spring, God is reshuffling the deck again. And God has yet to reshuffle the deck. And then what's going to happen is, and I predict this in my book, Arabia, which is where the exodus took place, Arabia, which is where Mount Sinai is, is the same Arabia which Israel will return to conquer uh, under orders from the one world government. And at that time, we will fulfill the borders of Deuteronomy 11, which will be Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, Saudi, and Sinai Peninsula. Uh, I believe there will be many, many Jews and Christians moving back to the land at that time because the Muslims are going to go nuts here in America. Obama's plan is to bring in 100 million Muslims here. I talk about this in my books, you know, and in my preaching in the church. This is a short 22-minute interview. But uh, I recommend to people to get the, uh, the books. And... Um, I'm going back to Israel, God willing, in a few days. I don't know when I'm coming back because I'm forming this Judeo-Christian political party to run for the Israeli government elections. And I'm just very honored every time to be here, and I'm honored and blessed and happy to serve the Lord. Well, thank you so much, Avi Lipkin. What a great blessing to uh, have such expertise and knowledge from Avi Lipkin.